It's already like a quarter to four in the afternoon. It's Friday. I'm on my way to the Rob Roy. I was uh, contemplating it with myself if I was going to go or not going to go. And I decided to go. And um, this is the first video I've made today. I've just kind of been in myself today. Just trying to keep busy with my own life, with my own things, take my focus off of the, the whole twin flame journey thing. Just take my focus off and put it into my life and just, you know, it's, it's, it's a lot to wrap your head around and it's more of like an energetic, it's more of, it's more like energy than anything else. And I want to use my mind now to better myself, to, I want to strengthen my mind, to not go, to, to, to be able to use my focus and creation and create. Um, the other day I did a video about uh, being a part of it all, and there is, there, there, uh, there, uh, there is no space in between me and everything, it's, it's all one. And so by me moving, I'm moving everything. Everything are cooperatives. So I'm thinking along those lines and also that uh, Science of Getting Rich book where it says there's a thinking substance with, with which a thought is held, in which a thought is held, will have to create it into, into uh, the physical world a thought held in this thinking substance that is around, through, and throughout everything. And it's, it's the same thing as you create your, your uh, reality by, by belief in it or by acting as though it already exists. Um, they're they're all the same thing, so it's all coming together into into like one. And I realize that, that you can also play games because I am a game player. I play games. I always play games, and, and that makes life more interesting. You know, with my kids, it's like I'll give you an, uh, an example of a game. So let's say we're driving somewhere. I'll ask them how long they think it's going to take us, you know, what time, we'll look at the clock and each person will give a guess, estimate as to what time we're going to get there and then whoever's the closest wins. And so it kind of adds an added fun into the drive. There's like another new little spin onto it on the side so it becomes like a game. So I was thinking like along, along the lines of a game is that in my world I can be I can be anything that I want to be so in my world I'm a master creator and or I am a a good witch that casts spells and makes things happen and the way to do that is to think about them in such detail and enjoyment because when you think about something in, in all of its detail, you really have to think about it and it brings you into that uh, space and time reality. So when you are really thinking about the details and, and how you can, uh, you know, oh wait, that... Uh, uh, that drawer is held in place by that, you know, the, the further detail that you can get in, the more you can get yourself into that, uh, because
because your mind doesn't know the difference between a thought and reality. So if you get your mind into that detail, it makes it reality. It uh, And then you will be in tune to receiving that because you tuned your mind into such a detail that in the, the 3D world, where you're the physical world, anything that, that reminds you of that will pull your attention because your attention is so far already on that. Ooh, I like this. I like this. This is, this is channeling. So it's attention and focus. See, I just went out of the channeling to say that this is in channeling and I came back into my me, my avatar, my ego mind. But that, that's a really good one. So what I opened this video to talk about is that I'm kind of feeling like I want to put the whole thing on the back burner. And not in a way because, because uh, you know, with love. Because from where I'm at, the best thing that I can do for anyone, myself included, my other one, my family, my children, myself mainly, the best thing that I can do is pull the focus back onto me and focus on how I feel and focus on uh, being in a high spirited mode because that's where inspiration comes in. That's where all the goodness comes in. So I think that it's being in the 5D or in, in that. I'm using that expression because it's an expression that is known. It's like being uh, uh, holding the high, vi the highest vibration, and uh, and going into that higher place, that higher plane. You're not having to to, and then from that place is a place of creation, and that's a place of creation through inspiration, which is the best creation because it always works out so, because when it's created from such a high plane, it's always um, in sync with the universe. And whatever is in sync with the universe is in expansion. So it's in expansion in all the different layers. And that means that it works for everybody through and through. It's a win-win-win, like only wins. So anything that is created from this place is for the better of all. It's for the betterment of all because it's coming from the place of all. So uh, everybody will benefit from it. That, that's like opening up, um, opening up a business that, that, The service that you give is of the service or, or um, or merchandise that you make is of high value. It, it is made for giving the customer value and value all the way around. That means that it is protecting the environment. It is protecting, you know, it's working with the elements and everything that it does. And in that, it's a stand up, you know, you know if, you, if you are giving a good service, something that, that people really benefit from, and you are charging a fair price for it, whatever it is worth and, and the cost of being able to create it, and still a fair market value. People feel like they're getting value from what they are paying for. Then you bettered the world. See, I am. 
I'm getting into business thinking. I'm getting into business thinking and I realize that I really want to work with my mind and my finger. And I don't mean it in a, in a, in a, in, in, I mean it in a very good way. It is my, I, I have a very creative mind and I want to work with my mind. I want to give value through working with my mind and I think that working with my mind means that I, you know, okay, so now when I send off merchandise to Amazon, I'm actually sitting and making the merchandise myself. And it's very small business-wise. And uh, as long as I'm doing the physical part of it, I don't have time to create more content like more products, better, better, you know, to create visions. And so I want to work smarter. And so what I was thinking is that I could, uh, before when I was talking about creating your own reality, and I was thinking that it could be a game. I could be like, you know, I'm part, uh, I'm part of the all. So I have the power of all running through me and it's not, everybody does. Everybody has the power of all running through them. That means that the all is, is at my, um, I want to say like dispense, but in a very, very, very uh, respectable, respective way, because I am also at the ex at the at the like, uh, for the use of the universe. You know, I also am part of this. You know, if if a big wind comes, it pushes me too. So. I'm a part of it all, so I have much respect for it all. I want for the betterment of it all. And so, when you realize that you're a part of the all, the all is also at your service. You know, the all wants to come in around you and support you on your endeavors when you are in sync with the all, when you want for the betterment of the all, when you are in aligned with the all. That means that you only take what you need and you are always safeguarding and looking for uh, the, the, the absolute best solution on a grander scale. Taking as much in, you know, in this, in this human um, um, experience that we are To consider to consideration and um, and first and foremost it's repairing ourselves so also on the twin flame journey that's connecting me back around to there too first and foremost it's correcting me when I correct me I'll be correct with the all I'll be correct and he is part of the all so so once I correct myself, I'm correcting myself for the betterment of everything, of the connection, the, on the tw betterment of me first, so that I can be in sync and maximize this experience. And by me maximizing this experience, this also connects back to a previous video that I did, it is maximizing God's experience that he is getting through me. You know, the all's experience that is experiencing. I'm the experiencer. And I'm the one out creating the experience. It can be as grand or as small as I decide. So... It's just creating, you know, you can, you can play at any scale once we realize that we're part of it all, that we, 
we have way more at our fingertips than you can imagine in this 3D body. In the energy, we, we are, we can move mountains. Literally, we can move mountains. We are connected to the all. We are part of it. We move it. We can vibrate out what we want to receive back. And you can see that in the physical world too. You know, you try it. Smile at somebody genuinely. Smile at somebody and they smile back. If you walk down the street and you're happy, people around you accommodate you and your happiness. It's, uh, it's you magnetize to yourself and that's how you can do it in the physical world. Magnetize to yourself what you want. Okay, you want water. I mean, this is something really simple, but it's just showing how it's done. And it's just a different perception, a different way of thinking about it. So you want water. How do you magnetize water to yourself? You go, you get a cup, and you fill it with water, and you drink the water. It's the most simple form of magnetizing something to yourself. You, you get a thought of it, and you hold it in your mind until it becomes true, right? Because at any, any point in the process of uh, getting water, your mind goes somewhere else, then you're liable to up and leave the process because you lost track of what you were doing. So a thought held in this thinking substance will create it. So as long as you can hold that thought and as dominant and in detail, you know, because if you're, if you're imagining, oh, I want a good life. Okay. That's like with no detail. What does a good life mean? What does it look like? You know what? Everybody's different. What is a good life for me? And then you start really thinking about what is a good life for me. What would I really, really, if I had a different lifetime, what would I want to do in that other lifetime? Maybe maybe I'd want to go live in a forest somewhere and, and grow my own food. Maybe I'd want to live in some exotic country. Maybe I would want to, who knows? Or another one of those thoughts. Who knows? The only one that knows is each and every one of us. And that's what we're slowly creating, uh, uh, you know, grasping our thoughts around. What is it that we really, really want to create? You know, without putting constraints on it. Let's say if I'm living in my regular life, and the constraints are, you know, I want to, uh, um, I want to be able to add on a new room, rather than I want to go to Spain and live in, live in a communion for a year. You know, you can you can dream as little or as big as you want. And if a thought held in the substance, in the end, has to generate it. It's uh, it's a law of attraction. It's the law of vibration. It's uh, understanding that you are part of this all, and that all of these vibrations and everything that is is in the universe, and can be created from this substance. Um, and so, it's holding that belief long enough, being able to hold it without seeing the proof of it. And slowly you'll start seeing signs of it coming into existence. Slowly you'll start seeing the signs and then you start, when you start really seeing the signs, you start following the signs because they overlead you to more signs. If you're stuck on the one sign, a lot of times it means that you're stuck in one behavior because when the signs start opening up to you, a lot of times they're also reflecting back places to you that you don't want to go in your own mind or you don't want to go with any motion. And so then you don't follow the sign. You, you decide that, oh, that's not a sign. That's just me making it. And then you get back into your monkey mind that I have to, have to, have to. And, 
and then you'll keep on getting the same lesson until you get it and then you can go up a level and it's with pain every time you feel pain you're getting a lesson it's burning out the weakness. It's burning out the place that you don't want to face of whatever truth it is that you're not facing. Whatever place that you're not holding up and making change where you know that you should be because of weakness. Because it's easier to do, you know, what you know than and it's and and the ego mind wants to hold on to its beliefs because they have led him this far and first of all it's admitting that you were wrong and that you lived uh, uh, in uh, but but it was it, it, it's like what what oh well then what better time to change it than now I mean if you've lived up till now beating the wrong drum, then change now. So when I left the house now, I do this uh, kind of like a prayer when I get in the car. I just, I, I uh, give myself like a Kind of, it's kind of like a bon voyage, like may I be safe and guarded and get to where I'm going safely and come home safely and I think it puts it all also in my mind and I also said that this is going to be a fun day. I am going to just have pure clean fun. Whatever happens is you know, I'm going with an open heart. I'm going with an open heart and what is, is, and I'm going to have fun. Okay, this is a good video, so I'm glad I made this. This is one that I want to watch again because I think that I have a lot of things worked out in this video that will help a lot of times when I rewatch my videos I'll be like I'll get interested I'll get into it with me well that's like that's like the most obvious because it's me right so my thoughts interest me I mean it's me so anyway thank you for watching